Yo, what's up? It's me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. Now, I want to talk about one of the most popular questions I get asked all the time, and it's about sampling. Sampling from the internet. What's the best way to do it? Can I sample live, like just play something? Now, it's always about YouTube, too. They want to play YouTube. There are so many records on YouTube and so many things you can sample on YouTube. It's a smart idea, actually. I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to the Chrome Web Store for Google's Chrome Web Store. I'll go into here to Chrome Web Store. And here we are. So now what I want to do, I'm going to go get this audio capture. There we go. Right there. And here we go. And I come to here, right there, and that's my Chrome extensions. They're all right there in one place on my browser. And I want to take the Chrome Audio Capture, and I want to pin it so it shows up there. So we go to Chrome Audio Capture right there, I pin it, and there it is. If I click on this, you get to see some of these features here. This extension captures the audio on the current tab and saves the output file on your computer when the capture is complete. So you wanna just capture the file and put it on your computer or in a folder. Okay, now I'm ready. Now I wanna start capturing some audio off of YouTube. It's pretty simple here. I've got some tracks already set up. This is how I prefer to work. I set the points I wanna capture, Forget what tracks they are. I got all my samples lined up so I can pick them out, get them on there fast with no problems. I come right to here. There you go. There's Chubby Checker. Now, what I want to do next is I want to come to here, right here to Audio Capture, select Audio Capture, and press Start. Okay, it's ready to go. I'll come to Chubby Checker right here, and I'm going to press Play. Make sure my order's right. want that part there. I'll come in with this part right here. Only. Let's just get that piece right there. I want to come in and get a piece off of this record right here. Got that part. Once I'm done, I can go ahead and say, save the capture. It gives me a date. And I keep a folder for it, right? So I'm looking for my folder here, which is uh, on my desktop. And here it is, audio captures. This is the date. And I've saved it. Now I'm going to do one more thing here before we end this lesson here. I come here to Chrome Audio Capture. I've got to start, of course, with the Start Capture, but there are options here. And so what I do generally is I'm going to go WAV file. You can also go .mp3 if you want to, right? You can save these settings. You may not want to hear the tab that's being recorded. You can come here and select Mute Tabs that are being captured, okay, if you're recording something the maximum capture time is going to be 20 minutes. And to remove the capture time limit is not recommended because it might cause a problem. So next I want to drag the file into my bin here. Make sure the files are in. I'm going to copy the same file. And I'll do that again. That's good. And so what I want to do next is uh, drag the file over here. And it's right there. So now what I want to do is I want to look at the file. And there it is right there. I can see the file. I can make my start point. And you'll notice too, once you do sample or actually audio capture with your computer, you are getting stereo right here. So I have both sides of the stereo field, which is kind of cool. And when I want to start playing the sample, I'll go right up to here where the sample should start at. I'll press play the sample from where it's at. Hit it again to stop it. But that's inside of the NPC software. So that was cool. It works in many softwares though. It's just, an, it's just a WAV file. So we're good to go.
I can come into machine and do the same thing. So here we are in machine and I'll bring in the other version of this file here. I want to put it right there. I'll come to here in machine and I'll see record no edit and it's the same sample, same size right there. It's a different color. So it doesn't matter. It's a WAV file. You bring it in and you can use it. You can save a lot of samples if you want to and it's kind of cool way to do it. It's audio capture with Chrome.